All of you, please settle down. The event is about to begin. Our guests have arrived. The event will start in about two minutes. Please keep the door open. Sir.
Good morning, all. Thank you for being such a patient crowd. On behalf of the Cyber Security and Digital Forensics Division and Secure School of Computing Sciences and Engineering, I, Jagrit Yukadhyay, along with my co host Pratik Sinha, welcome all our guests of honor and attendees to the signing of MOU with the MP Police and the most awaited student internship program orientation. Before heading towards the agenda of our event, I would take this esteemed opportunity. To welcome the stars of today's session, Dr. Vineet Kapoor, sir, DCP headquarters, Mr. Shrut Kriti Sohmanshi, sir, IPS DCP Cyber and Crime branch, 
Mrs. Rita Chaube, ma'am, additional DCP, Mrs. Akansha Sharma, PI, Mrs. Monica Garbal, SI, Mr. Rahul Alava, Subhidat, Mr. JP Raja Ram for their humble presence in our university. Further, I consider myself providential enough as I take this opportune occasion to welcome Dr. Santhi Arumagam, sir, to VC, Professor Shusha Kumar Shandilli, sir, Deputy Director Secure, Dr. Poon Kuntan, sir, Dean SPSC, Dr. Pushpinder Singh Pateja, sir, DHCSPF, Registrar, sir, all our respected faculty members, and our intrigued audience for assembling in today's orientation session. Nakarat Makta Panash Ho Jai Jab Kan Kan Prakashit Ho, Samriddhi Ho, Sakarat Makta Ho, Manatta Ullasit Ho, Ojasvi Ho, Ujjavan Ho Jai, Brahman Bhi Achambit Ho, Jab Jale Diya Vishwas Ka, Aho Ek Deep Jalan, Nirbharta Ka, Nadeenta Ka, Prayas Ka. On this note, I would request our honorable guest to kindly proceed towards the lightning of the land. Sir, thank you, ma'am. Further, I would request ProVC Sir to kindly felicitate our chief guest, Dr. Vineet Kapoor Sir, with a bouquet. Also, I would request Dr. Poon Guntran, sir, to kindly felicitate with a bouquet to ma'am, to Richard Chauvin, ma'am. First and foremost, let me invite the man with the brightest and warmest mind who is ever ready to join you for any help, 
PhD academics, or the Punjabi club. Dr. Pushpinder Singh Patilja sir, PH, CSDM, to welcome our gathering. Thank you, Diksha and Pratik. Good morning, one and all present over here. Myself, Dr. Pushpinder, on behalf of VIT fraternity and the entire management, have together extended a very heartfelt thankfulness to Dr. Vineet Kapoor, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Bhopal Commission Day. And of course, uh, Will be uh, he'll be joining soon. I'll be welcoming uh, Mr. Shruk Kirti, uh, DCP Cyber uh, Crime Branch. So very soon he'll be joining us. So on this auspicious occasion, I would like to express my sincere thanks to our management of VIT Bhopal University for giving permission and continuous support for conducting this event. Though not present here. I would also like to thank our honorable, uh, honorable ADP ma'am and our Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. Sanjeev Kumar for their support towards the conduction of this event. Thank you and welcome, sir. I acknowledge my gratitude to the Dean of School of Computing Science and Engineering, Dr. Poon Kuntran, for their continuous support and guidance. Welcome, sir. I sincerely thank. Dr. Pradhuman Yadav, Registrar, for continuous support and guidance. Welcome, sir. I would also like to express my sincere thanks to our Deputy Director, Secure, Center of Excellence Cyber Security, Dr. Shishir Kumar Chandelier, for his coordination in every part of this event. Thank you, sir, and welcome, sir. On behalf of our Cyber Security and Digital Forensic Division, I acknowledge my gratitude and welcome our guests, faculties, and students. Again, a wholehearted welcome to Dr. Vineet Kapoor and his team present here. Thank you all and all the best for your upcoming internship with Bhopal Commissionary in association with Madhya Pradesh Police. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now let me take this opportunity to call upon the highly proficient professor and guiding light in our SCSE department, Dr. Poon Kuntran Sir, Dean SCSE, to formally felicitate this convention. Thank you. The most respected uh, chairgates for uh, today's program, uh, Deputy Commissioner of Police uh, Headquarters, Dr. Vinit Kapoor. The Deputy Commissioner of Police Cyber and Crime Branch and uh, the additional Deputy Commissioner of Police Bhopal, Mr. Sir Richard Chobe, the respected Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, my dear colleagues and students and other members, very warm good morning to every one of you. So I'm very happy to join you all on this particular occasion. So definitely our uh, Bhopal Commissioner team is here to give away the details of the uh, index, I mean, uh, student internship programs to you. So at this junction, I would like to register two things with you. So today, we all have to move from insanity to innovation. So insanity is means we are doing the same thing again and again to produce the different results. But whereas innovation is a slightly different. We have to do the same thing in a different way. So that is a very, very and situation and that is coming up in front of every one of us. In front of every field, we have to go for innovation. That is highly required. But if you go for innovation, how to do that? That is how. That is our biggest question now. So for that, what we need to do is actually we need to learn from the society. Because we are technically equipped with all the knowledge, skill set and everything. But when you choose a problem, when you want to apply it, when you want to bring a solution, what is the problem you are going to choose in the society that plays the vital role? The last two weeks, 
every dailies and every newspaper everywhere we are talking about the tomato economy yesterday also a woman of india launched an exclusive tomato hackathon to find the best solution for the tomato chain see that's the thing because we all are equipped with all the technological skill set but it has to go to the society in a useful way so for that the way forward is we have to learn from the society so in this line i am very happy and i must be very thankful to the team of gopal police commissioner Nick. and they have launched an exclusive student internship program and through which they are going to engage you in various types of training and other sessions so that will be a really a great opportunity for everyone of you so that is a message i would like to posit at this juncture you all have to take this opportunity in a very serious way and you have to put all your technological skill set and you can get a good acknowledgement and that will drive the useful for the society owns so that is a uh, need of the day so with this few words on behalf of the entire great football team i place my sincere thanks to dcp sir and their team for giving us such an opportunity for the student community it's really a great opportunity going to see our government of india also very closely taking all these initiatives in the last decades so we have already witnessed with the smart india hackathon so that our students have grabbed a lot of uh, laurels so we are on the uh, way to achieve many more laurels in the way and in this direction it is very happy to see that gopal college commission and offices also bringing in a such an opportunity for all the students and the next is actually i am placing this message for every students so that is the main thing because already you made lot of laurels with many things and you have to apply all this skill set here and really take it to the further way so with this few words thank you for an opportunity wish you all the best thank you Thank you, sir. Now I feel opportune enough to invite the man of innovation, the brain of eight core processor, and the very humble Professor Shishir Kumar Shandeja, sir, Deputy Director Secure, to bestow with his words of regards. Thank you, Prasthi, for the kind words. A very good morning to all of you. Are you with us? At the breakfast or not? Okay, see, so we are people with uniform here, right? And we always fascinated uh, with the uniforms and the discipline and uh, this thing. So I think this yes sir is very low for that. How's the Josh? Simon shared the first name here. Okay, so I'll, I'll just uh, keep my uh, uh, speech short and sweet. Uh, the relationship of VIT Bhopal or the relationship of Division of Cyber Security or Secure Center of Excellence in Cyber Security. With the law enforcement agencies are not new. Uh, we are uh, already having multiple tie-ups with uh, uh, the agencies, government of India, Interpol uh, internationally. We talk about uh, some bunch of students recently visited Interpol also, and uh, uh, the police department as well. Not only in uh, MP uh, but also the other states like Kerala and uh, Andhra. The main thing what I personally believe like this event was not uh, you know the event which was just happened like like this. We had multiple uh, meetings uh, with uh, Honorable Vinik Kapoor sir, and we had a discussion uh, you know multiple discussion on that that how this internship would be provided, what would be the key niche areas where the student will get maximum benefit out of it, uh, what are their skill set right now if they are in third year, if you are in second year. Of what is actually uh, required at your end, and what is actually how how to bridge the gap. So there will be multiple sessions, there will be uh, multiple discussion on it, and this event now, which is you think it's a big name, but uh, actually it already began, and this would be the first stepping stone for all of you. Internship is always uh, the first thing which you will come across uh, to the professional world. So this will not be a class, or there will not be. Uh, a session you are going to attend. This will be a real-time job you are going to do uh, with the law enforcement agencies like any police. Talking specifically about my personal experience, we are uh, doing a lot of things at uh, the Department of Cyber Security. Uh, but this time uh, we had multiple discussion and we brought this uh, opportunity, this internship opportunity, to uh, you know in a very well thought manner. So please uh, try to utilize this opportunity in a better way. 
uh, people generally uh, thought that uh, when police comes into the picture, when we talk about cyber security, that's it. So there will be digital crimes. There will be so there are you know crime is also changing places from the conventional crime to the digital crime, and now you know there will be multiple other things like metaverse crimes and metaverse. There will be uh, you know so many things which probably in the next session we are going to discuss in detail on on this particular thing. But uh, as in uh, technocrat in this particular field, I just say that this is this of uh, internship program for you is a very thought well worth and a very power pack uh, opportunity for you which you can utilize not only for uh, learning but also for your uh, placement and the other like if you are uh, planning for higher studies research or anything so it will get one work multiple benefits uh, so with this thing i just wish you all the best for this and may god bless, um, bless this event thank you thank you sir Further, I would like to invite the person who is highly approachable with any academic prospects and has a very humble personality, our Honorable Pro VC Sir, to kindly give his words of commendation to our guest of honor. A very good morning to all of you. I would say today is an important day in the history of VAT Bhopal. I would say that it is a red day because we are going to enter an agreement with the uh, Bhopal Police Commissionerate uh, and wherein uh, our students will be able to do research and internship with the Police Commissionerate now. So first of all, uh, I would like to join my colleague uh, Dr. Pateja in welcoming the distinguished guest today. Uh, we have uh, uh, very uh, distinguished personalities. Uh, we have Dr. Vinit Kapoor, he is a DCP headquarters. Uh, on my, my personal behalf, as well as on behalf of the VAT University, I would like to welcome him and also I would like to thank him for all the support. Also, we have another distinguished personality today with us, uh, Mrs. Richard Chaubi, additional DCP, and also women's safety. And you know, really, no credit, we are all very fortunate to have such a distinguished personality with us. And also, I want to extend a warm welcome to all the other officers who come from uh, Bhopal uh, Commissioner. Well, uh, I want to uh, tell our guest that uh, VAT Bhopal University is a truly a cosmopolitan in nature. Uh, we have students uh, right from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. And uh, this is, uh, this, like, you know, I want to, uh, of course, uh, this was noted by the guest also. Uh, the students are very disciplined now. Uh, that is the quality of this VAT Bhopal University. Uh, and I want to say that uh, our students uh, not only excel in uh, their academics, they are also they excel in other you know, co curricular activities as well. Uh, and in our curriculum, it is part and parcel because we give you know, a lot of importance to uh, their social responsibility, we are reporting a sense of social responsibility and uh, you know, uh, ethics, values, and so on and so forth. So that is the reason I want to tell that all of the students are placed in the leading, leading industries and they are all doing exceedingly well. And this batch also, this the current students now also, they are all very, very disciplined. We are very, very, very happy about their progress and to have such a you know, disciplined students in the campus. As already I pointed out, uh, I know, uh, today is an uh, important day in the history of VAT Bhopal. We are entering an agreement with the uh, police commissioner. And uh, I, this is a golden opportunity to all of our students you know, uh, to get to practical exposure. Uh, I want to thank. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, uh, my faculty colleagues, Dr. Pumundan, Shishidhar, and Dr. Pateja, and other faculty colleagues uh, for taking this uh, wonderful initiative. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to you know, wish all my student friends a very grateful future, and thank you, thank you very much. Now, it's a moment of extreme honor and privilege for our institution to have an exchange of memorandum of understanding between VIT Bhopal University and the NP Police Commissionerate. Hence, I request ProVC Sir and Dr. Vineet Kapoor Sir to proceed towards the engagement of the MOU. Thank you, Dr.
Now let me invite the star of today's session, Dr. Vineet Kapoor sir, to address our gathering. So, Vice Chancellor of uh, this institution, Professor Santhi Kumar. Honorable uh, Registrar of the Institution, Professor Yadav. My colleagues, uh, Richard Chaudhary. Professor uh, Pushpinder Singh Ji. Uh, Professor um, Poon Kurtar Ji. Uh, Professor Chandil. And all other esteemed faculty members present here. All my colleagues, uh, Mr. Rahul Alawa, Akansha Sharma, uh, Monica Garwal, and of course, uh, all the dear students of uh, BIT. It has been a great uh, opportunity for us also to interact with you. The momentum has been built since last year, I must say. I must. Uh, 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 give special thanks to the efforts made by uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Vishwinder Singh and Professor Shandil for uh, uh, keeping us uh, uh, continuously connected on this front. And one of your alumni, Akshat Rawat, I must uh, congratulate him also. He was the first student from VIT who came and said, uh, Sir, I want to do. Uh, internship last year when we were doing it and I said that VIT is very far away uh, from Bhopal and uh, we would not uh, like it would not be feasible for us to uh, to have you uh, uh, continuously here uh, you'll have to make all the efforts we, we won't guarantee anything but he had the conviction and uh, he did that uh, later on uh, when I reflected upon VIT uh, VIT is a big brand uh, in education. It's a very prestigious institution in itself. And we are very happy uh, that uh, VIT bears the name of OPA uh, with it. So it's a kind of a brand positioning for Bhopal in technical education. And definitely Bhopal governance, Bhopal uh, based uh, government institution. Uh, be proud of uh, having such good students attracted from all over the country here. This way we find our duty to engage with these students and give these students some opportunity to interact uh, with the uh, systems and practices of governance uh, which we can expose them through um, the Bhopal Police Commissioner. And that's why we are very, very happy uh, uh, to Vice Chancellor Sir, that we are now able to have the MOU today. So first of all, you should all clap for the MOU. This is a great event in itself because it's a dream come true for many things uh, between us. Uh, as uh, your professors were saying earlier, Professor Phone Kutan and Professor Shantije, mentioned that you should have that social connect uh, uh, within yourself. And I think that is one of the most important reasons why the police commissionerate itself is devoting uh, its energy on uh, uh, having internship with the, with the young students. Uh, it's basically a kind of a community uh, interface or community policing strategies in which we are trying to connect 
with the youth of the country. The youth of the country, as it is, are the future leaders of the country, the future leaders of the of the world, and they must have a kind of appreciation and understanding of what happens in governance and law enforcement in good citizenship, particularly. Why good citizenship? Because as uh, uh, Professor Chantil Kumar just now said, that the students in this campus, I was very curious to know before I uh, landed up in this hall, uh, that how are the students behaving? So many young people staying in one campus throughout the time without uh, any city uh, uh, city engagements. Uh, uh, are they behaving well or not? And the answer was that yes, they are behaving very well. They are a very disciplined lot. We don't have any disciplinary issues in the campus. That's a great thing to happen. I must congratulate all of you for that. I must con congratulate the institution. Yes, you, you, deserve, you deserve an applause here. The kind of rowdyism we see among the youth, even in good institutions, we don't see here. You should keep it up. This whole internship is based on the one basic principle of having good citizens produced out of good institutions. These good, instit good citizens would care for other fellow students, would care for other fellow uh, human beings. And this care, this social responsibility is going to go a long way in the carving of their own uh, careers as well as in shaping up a society which is more responsible in its nature. In shaping up technology, which is more socially responsible, which is more socially accountable, which is more uh, uh, accountable to the systems of governance and practice. And that's why uh, we want to engage with the young students, because they would lead uh, different aspects of life. They would lead different aspects of technology and if they have the basic appreciation for the governance for the law for good citizenship they will uh, make responsible decisions in life they will make responsible use of the technology and that would be a great leap forward so i thank you all uh, for uh, uh, creating this environment here I'll be having a longer session where we will deal in detail about uh, what the internship is about. But this is a unique internship, internship of its own kind um, uh, in the world. And uh, very few institutions are opening up this kind of uh, in internship. Secondly, the certificate which you get is from uh, the government and uh, from a practice-based institution which uh, uh, heavily relies now on technology. Uh, it is also reflective of the social trend. Whatever happens in the society reflects in crime and law enforcement. So if the society is going more technical, the law and the law enforcement has to keep pace. The criminals also keep pace with the technology. They devise different mediums to abuse the technology for private gains. So we have to be smarter than them. And if we have to be smarter than them, the only cops can't do it. The cops also need to depend upon uh, the, uh, the expertise. And that expertise would come through expert institutions like yours. But you have to open up your horizons. If I see uh, in different countries abroad, uh, security is a big market for technology these days. A lot of technological advancement is taking place uh, through technology uh, uh, in, the, in the security sector. 
in the justice delivery sector and that is a industry oriented approach to security and governance so apart from good citizenship law enforcement and responsible uh, governance it's also the industry which is getting affected by it. digital security is one of the major major concerns of all uh, all technology based industries plus citizen security is also a major uh, uh, major game changer apart from this the the all the security sector institutions themselves depend upon new innovations in technology and existing technology to be refined and reproduced for them so for all that we need good technical minds so definitely it makes sense to have an internship with a security and governance institution and i'm happy that this institution is very open towards that i congratulate all the professors and all the faculty members for taking up this uh, uh, approach towards internship and i look forward to all my students here uh, for a great uh, relationship this year with you thank you thank you sir now further we move towards the memento presentation ceremony firstly i would request pro vc sir to present a memento to dcp sir further Thank you, sir. Further, I would request Shishir Kumar Shandali, sir, Deputy Director, Secure, to present a memento to additional DCP members. <laughs> Continuing with the same, I would request Dr. Praveen Lalwani, sir, to present a memento to TI Ma'am, Mrs. Akanksha Sharma. Now, please proceed towards the stage. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Further, I would request Dr. Sarvanan Lee, sir, PC, CSC Specialization in Cyber Security, to present a memo, memento, to Mrs. Monica Gurwal, SI ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Further, I would request Dr. H. Atat, PC, Integrated Entex Cyber Security, to kindly present a memento to Rahul Alawa, Subedar, sir. Sir, please present a memento to Jitendra Raja Ram, sir. As an exchange of mementos, the MP police and the DCP sir would like to provide mementos to Pro VC sir and the institution. With this, we conclude the, uh, the formal proceeding of tokens of exchange on a note where the university and, and the institution are immensely grateful for the presence of our honorable guests.
I'm honored to invite our respected Red Star sir to propose the word of thanks. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, I am thankful to our Honorable Chancellor, the Vice President, the Trustee Ma'am, AVP Ma'am, to provide us this platform for this VIT Bhopal so that we are educating the students and let alone conducting this type of functions. I am thankful to Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, sir. My sincere thanks to today's chief guest, Dr. Vinit Kapoor, sir, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Richa Chaube, Mrs. Akansha Sharma, Mrs. Monika Garwal, Mr. Jitin Raja Ram, and because of some reason, Mr. Shukirti Sumanshi is also a DCP cybercrime. He is not available here, but my sincere thanks to him also because in the whole process, all the team in the leadership of Dr. Vinit Kapoor has worked a lot and uh, with the permission of sir, uh, in this Thanksgiving, I would like to use one very light joke. In earlier, sir, if you permit, in the Thanksgiving, I would like to have a very light joke. Please don't take it otherwise. Pehle kya hota tha? Ki agar paanch log chale aa rahe hai, five heads are there. Aur kisi bachche se puchte the, ki bachcha koon aa raha hai? To bachcha ke kaha tha, teen admi hai, ek sadar ji hai aur ek police wala hai. That means the society identifies the police in a different way. But now those the days has gone. Now the specialized computer peoples, they are willing to go there. Many of my students, they are there in cyber crime in uh, indoor. So now I am thankful that always peoples are reaching to the police in ancient time. That time is over. Now the Police admission is shaking hands with the institutions like us, and we are able to provide the students which not only they will listen, they will learn something, but they will give back to the society with his knowledge, with his training. And definitely, the admin, the police commissioner of Bhopal, they are providing this uh, type of facility. So, this is my very sincere thanks for this particular. You are here, sir. Thank you for that. And you are providing us the platform for our students. Thanks for that also. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Good day. Now, let us move towards the highlight of the day, the reason that captivated the interest of our students. So, let me call upon DCP, sir, to begin with his valuable orientation. I would request all the respected dignitaries to occupy the seats in the front. Uh, again, I am back with you and uh, I draw your attention to the OK, 
Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, now we'll uh, go through uh, the uh, uh, presentation on uh, the police internship. Uh, this uh, presentation will uh, take you through uh, different aspects of uh, uh, like the internship we are offering this year. This is our second year of internship. Last year we offered uh, uh, internship to some institutions, but uh, it was not very uh, much uh, geared towards offering uh, technical uh, institutions. But this year we are uh, offering it to technical institutions as well. And BIT is our major partner in that. We, we depend upon a, a strategy of taking SI uh, student internship program in a way in which the faculty of that institution should be proactive in uh, uh, in contributing to the internship. If the faculty in like uh, contributes intently into the internship, uh, the internship would definitely do better than when the students are just left with us. Uh, particularly for technical institutions, because uh, we would need a kind of a stock taking of the students, which uh, we would not like to indulge into. And as it is, police is having a heavier hand on discipline. So <laughs> it's better that your own faculty disciplines you rather than the police starts disciplining you, because the police disciplining goes in a very, very different manner and we don't want to have that role with you and uh, plus we also respect your intention to do uh, internship with us and we want to make uh, uh, and keep it more academic and innovative in its orientation more energetic in its, in its, uh, in its execution so if you if we get into the daily daily of uh, uh, disciplining and uh, uh, administrative details, uh, it will sap our energy and sap creativity. So that's why we would like the faculty to get involved. Plus, uh, like this, these are some disclaimers I'm saying before I go on to the internship. For the faculty, it's also an opportunity to prepare papers, academic papers through the through the projects which we give to the students. The student, under your guidance and under the co-guidance of the police officer to whom a particular project has been assigned, would present the project report, but the, the entire process of that research into developing a project report or developing a product might be a bigger contribution of the faculty herself. And in that case, that faculty must also publish if they want to uh, in a reputed journal, because we are giving you a very good interface and access to a system which is generally closed. You can't do research there. Mostly law enforcement agencies are closed to doing any kind of research over them. So this is a nice area for the faculty to also indulge into some kind of a research activity paper presentation if they want also we would like to have a, a kind of a compendium of the projects submitted by vit through a joint publication of vit and the gopal commissioner as an end product so that we can refer that this is the compendium of uh, innovative practices done by the students with the Bhopal Police in security governance and law enforcement area uh, in the use of technology and its interface. So uh, these are some of the things which I just wanted to say before I begin. It doesn't... Uh, yeah. So, Bhopal Police Commissionerate, uh, can you all see this? Okay. So, like uh, this is the internship program has some of the major things which we will be following in the future. 
some like training sessions. We will do some training sessions for them, for you all. Like for example, it's classically a police uh, internship. So you must know how does the police of your country work. So we'll have some kind of an exposure sessions to law enforcement and policing. Workshops and seminars would also be conducted based on law enforcement function and their overview. Then we will provide you with the knowledge and skills related to that. For example, we will we'll, uh, send you for some exposure visits. Uh, our Dial 100 Center in uh, uh, Bhopal is one of the major centers of uh, uh, GPS based technology and uh, use in uh, first response, uh, uh, first response of the police uh, and how that is used, uh, that can be shown. Uh, a, a normal police station can be shown, a women's police station can be shown, a city surveillance system based on CCTV coverage of the city can be shown, uh, and how it is utilized for uh, uh, traffic control mechanisms that can be shown. So there are certain exposure visits which we will do. Uh, then you produce some research projects. So we'll be more interested for you to do some research projects. Uh, you can do trend analysis of the crime based on law, digital crime or digital insecurity related issues and how we do that. Uh, and then there are some community police projects which generally would not be open for you because you have a proximity issue with Bhopal. But like if you want to do something for in and around the community here, you can definitely do that. That will negotiate with your institution. Now, uh, how do we do that? Uh, we, uh, uh, we get into different aspects of policing, like investigation, crime analysis, community outreach, and administrative tasks, which the police does. You'll, you'll come to know that. So there are certain schemes now, which you will follow. Now, scheme number one is public security awareness generation camp. Now, security awareness generation camps are generally meant for non-technical students who go out and do public campaigns. But for digital crime related awareness, you can do. But you can combine it with tool designing to do some kind of a public awareness campaign in terms of, uh, uh, of making a tool out of it uh, or public education uh, solution out of it through which you can guide them uh, about it. For example, Akshat Rawat was here and last time he did a, a, a project with his friend on uh, 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 using cartoons or animated characters to tell what is a digital crime. So like if there is a OTP fraud, so it was pictographically shown how OTP fraud happens or a small clip or a video can be created and then it could be mass circulated so that people remain aware what to do and what not to do uh, 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 while using an OTP based system. And similarly, there are other systems of uh, awareness generation which uh, you can find technical solutions to that. Traffic rule awareness generation. There are traffic is a major area of technological advancement now. We are using technology in, uh, in control of uh, uh, traffic uh, uh, crime, like traffic violation through CCTV uh, footages uh, and uh, CCTV coverage is there in the entire city and that helps. Plus traffic engineering is a very important field and we would like this institution to take up a project, uh, Ajitenji, you can write down this project because I think as it comes and Professor Shandile and others might uh, take note of that. Like the route between Hopal and Indore, on which you lie, has black spots. These black spots are the death spots, actually. So this is nomenclatured as black spots. 
uh, and these black spots are those places uh, on the road in on which within a span of two years three or more deaths have occurred during accidents so those are like death prone accident places on the road so they are called black spots research has shown that around 50 to 70 percent of uh, this uh, uh, black spot happens because of traffic engineering problems to ameliorate that your civil engineering department or other departments can take note of that and we can do mitigation of black spots on Bhopal in the route. And that would be a beautiful study to do. And then we we'll align the respective district police forces to help you solve that problem. So we can have Sihor police and then Devas police and Indore and Bhopal police because four districts lie on the road uh, to, to help you out to find out the black spot. We already have a registered black spot. Now, mitigation of that uh, black spot. If there is a traffic engineering problem, we'll take the highways authority in, on our in account and we'll have a joint effort done there. But the students will lead that whole research. So that kind of action-based research we want to do. Women in child security and law enforcement. This is another very important aspect of law enforcement in which uh, uh, like we have to find technical solutions to women in child security and law enforcement. Uh, as it goes just now, uh, like uh, missing children's portal is one portal the, developed by government of India. And its usage has to increase. Now, how can we increase the usage of a, of a technical solution already devised? Can our students do something on that? Similarly, there are uh, women security apps. There are different security uh, women security apps on which we can work, or some other innovative thing can come. Up. But this would all come once you are educated about what is the law to protect a child, what are the women security laws in the country, and how we will uh, utilize them. So then we can find technical solutions to that. Next is forensics and law enforcement. This is a huge area of technical expertise. You, how many of you know DNA fingerprinting? Okay. Can, can anybody define what is DNA fingerprinting? Or just not define, but just give, give a very very relevant answer. I don't need a proper definition of that. Yes, you want to say? Yeah, please. You can give him mic. No, this person in black shirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any volunteers? Yeah. Morning, sir. Yeah. Introduce yourself, please. Yeah. Sir, uh, I'm Muskan and okay. I'm a third year cybersecurity student. So, DNA fingerprinting is basically the testing of DNA. Um, it can be either through our saliva or our hair or our human nails. And with the DNA database in the system, we can check whether the DNA found at the crime scene matches or not. So right. if there is a match, then we have a suspect. If there is no match, then we take a match from the uh, suspect phone and then uh, we see if there is any matches or not. But why do you be no, That's a very good answer. Thank you. Give a clap to her. Please give a good answer. Uh, Muskan, can you tell me why it is called fingerprinting? Sir, every DNA is unique, just like our fingerprints are unique. Yeah. So no two uh, persons will have the same DNA, not even the siblings or twins will have the same DNA. Okay, so that's very good answer. 
Uh, so basically now the forensics is like for example DNA fingerprinting is one. There are fingerprint softwares available. There are uh, document identification softwares through which we can see the forgery done through technological utilization of technological methods. Now there is it, this science is still evolving. There is a lot to be done. And our students can get an exposure to our forensic science labs. There are huge number of uh, opportunities in medical forensics. There are huge number of uh, opportunities in general forensics, in through which you can you can decipher uh, different aspects of uh, 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 like uh, forensic evidence collection and how to utilize that forensic evidence collection in uh, crime detection. So, if you guys are interested, we can do a project there. Then legal norms and issues in law enforcement. This is not in your topic. This is for law students. These are general topics I have mentioned, but uh, this, uh, some topics are open to you. Some of them might not be. The next uh, six topic is also not for you. It is HR management and police organizational behavior. This is for management students. Now the seventh topic is very important. This is uh, for you. This is IT based crime trends and analysis. So we have IT based crimes and their trend analysis. Uh, I'll be joining. Uh, I'll be joined by my colleague, uh, Mr. Shukriti Somanshi, uh, who will be uh, who who heads the cyber cell of Bhopal, and he'll give greater details on this uh, particular aspect. But I'm giving you a brief outline here. Uh, that all IT-based crimes uh, are happening every day. Now, some crimes are totally done on, a, on an IT-based platform and some crimes happen on a multiple platform in which IT-based platform is also used. So it's a hybrid platform in which IT-based uh, this mechanism is also Use. For example, recently a Dakarty took place in Bhopal, uh, an attempt to Dakarty. And through IT based uh, mechanisms and internet based mechanisms, the culprits found which is the weakest uh, bank uh, uh, like guarding system. Uh, in which bank the, the guarding system, the security systems are the weakest. And they found one bank and its uh, assets to be most weakly protected, digitally also and physically also. It was done totally online. After doing a recce online, they did a physical recce and they attempted uh, a recovery. Although they could not succeed in their recovery, but the whole mechanism was done online and then offline, it was the the offense took place. So there is a hybrid mode. So there are different modes of operating uh, uh, in which IT is used as a as a uh, medium of doing crime. Otherwise, IT can also be used as a medium to detect the crime. For example, you must be knowing now, most of the criminals are now not using the, the mobile which they generally use when they do crime. It was not like this five years back. Five years back, it was very easy for us uh, that uh, to take a tower location of that person who did, uh, who is suspected of crime. Because generally he'll be using the same, same or the same instrument. But now they become very smart. So the, the criminals are smarter than us in many mechanisms. Like you must have seen Jamtara and other uh, Netflix uh, or other OTT platform based uh, uh, system, uh, entertainment programs, but they are also showing the glimpse of how much advanced the criminals are getting into IT and how much smarter we need to be there. And that's why uh, the crime trend analysis would be done. We expose you to different 
uh, crime uh, scenarios, uh, real time. Uh, I was talking to Professor Shandilya and he was saying that they, you, you guys are keen to develop case studies. And definitely we'll be very happy to develop the case studies and uh, uh, based on our real life uh, uh, systems, uh, real life uh, stories uh, in which uh, we could detect a crime or not detect a crime, but at least understand how the IT based uh, crime activity takes place and how one can detect that. So uh, we are very excited about it. We need many case studies to be uh, jotted down into a case study module and probably also in a videoized uh, format also, if it is possible. So do you have media lab here, multimedia lab? You have, no? So we can utilize that and we can utilize our uh, students to develop this uh, should be the uh, good come uh, and we will let you know more about it. The next scheme is cyber security and analysis. There is a thin dividing line between IT based crime and cyber security. Cyber security is the system security uh, 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 mechanism in which the whole systems need to be protected as you people know better than me. But what are the uh, mechanisms being used in the industry, in the organizations and what are the gaps? So you can see the gaps and then you can devise solutions for that or you can give suggestions for that. You can do an audit of that. So you can do cyber security audit of institutions. And then our uh, offices, and then you can uh, give solutions also. Uh, and other, there are many, many schemes. We are open to suggestions from your faculty. Your faculty comes up with some suggestion, we'll take it up. Like case study suggestion came up from you also, and we were also taking that. Similarly, if you have some other uh, things, we will definitely come. The next is use of machine learning, AI, and law enforcement. Now, this is a very ambitious program we have. AI, machine learning, and its uh, impact on uh, uh, law enforcement. This is a very growing uh, uh, upfield. We have very few uh, parameters to back upon. We have very few uh, activities to, uh, to uh, give an example of. But we want to venture into this. I would, uh, I would like to draw the attention of uh, Vice uh, 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 Chancellor sir and uh, uh, Professor Shandilya on this account that if you can give us some problem in which you can you want to use machine learning AI for law enforcement, you want to study some area. And then we'll be very open to it. But we are right now just thinking about what all we can do. But our data will be available, predictive analysis will be done, predictive policing could be done. And uh, so we are very much eager that this, uh, this gets utilized. We have hopes that VIT will use, use this uh, scheme of ours. The next scheme is public safety awareness generation app and tool design. Now, I'm sure this university has the capacity uh, among the students to devise apps and uh, devise other tools. Uh, so, if there are some technical tools, some technical solutions which can be devised to cover uh, you know, different aspects of uh, 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 crime and criminality, we must, or security, uh, then we must work on this. Uh, there is continuous demand of making apps. There is a continuous demand of simplifying procedures for the public. And uh, uh, right from traffic management to, uh, to uh, crime detection, there are number of fields on which uh, we would like to work. And here it is that uh, app and tool designing uh, would be something which we can, uh, we can work on. For example, just now I mentioned about uh, uh, black spot mitigation. Now, if a driver starts from Bhopal and ends up in Indore, 
he can kind of click a link on the on his on his mobile and just see the all those black spots which would come on his way and then maybe take some precautions by driving or like the gps itself could educate about the black spot while driving and it's not difficult at all the only thing is it will be a big initiative on the part of this thing and we can sell this idea to the ministry of service transport which is very proactive ministry in the government of india but i don't think right now it, this has been aligned this way but educational institutions and practice based institutions if they come together they can give many many ideas like that so this is one of the ideas but there are number of ideas which might be present with you and uh, there are uh, uh, which we can uh, utilize uh, to to improve our uh, app and to design interfaces so uh, we can also see that public safety awareness generation the title is awareness generation we would like to use those, those apps and tools for the awareness generation like the example which i just now gave yeah please so we have uh, with uh, me my colleague mr shubhiti uh, komanshi uh, he is uh, dcp crime and dcp traffic he has two charges right now and uh, he looks after cyber crime of uh, bombay so so you listen to him also after some time please be seated yeah you will listen to him after some time uh, now the next uh, uh, next skill is public interface and law enforcement this will be combined together with your earlier uh, 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 program skill number 10 and development of learning resources digital platform for better safety and justice this is the 12th skill learning platform digital learning platforms for public awareness uh, and digital security in this as i was mentioning that the gps can also guide about what would be the uh, what would be the uh, threats on the route this might be another very very important aspect where we can use uh, some training material for example a friend of mine yesterday came and he said that we want to use vr for a uh, training tool uh, for uh, 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 doing uh, forensic examination now they are using virtual reality to create a scenario of uh, say a murder in a room and then it's a learning tool they give you that vr model and say it's just like a game they pick up the evidences available in the room and the vr will now tell you what where all to collect what evidences and this is how then you get scoring how much you so it's a basically a training tool it's also uh, an awareness generation tool for the investigators and it is a it is putting up things in a very interesting manner similarly you can have number of uh, uh, learning platforms created through uh, uh, through a uh, digital module in which technology can be utilized so these are some of the 12 schemes which we are mentioning here and these 12 schemes are open to all of you you guys can uh, uh, devise a method to enlist yourself in one scheme or the other we will have a online session uh, to uh, uh, to to invite you all to give your interest in whichever scheme you want to register then we will have a faculty meeting with you to decide what all projects we are going to take we might take up four or five projects and uh, students like between 5 and 10 in number can be in one group and then they can do a joint project or if you the faculty feels only two students would do let them do like that 
if the faculty feels that a, student, a bunch of 10 students or 5 students or 6 students would do it, let them do it, but it would always be led by a faculty. Plus, it will be assigned to uh, some of our uh, uh, officers who will look after it. So, we are ready to give you access to a lot of things. And you are, should produce a, a research project out of that. And it should be of public utilization. So, uh, these are the I have already explained most of them. So uh, this is all uh, I have right now to say. Uh, I would expect you guys to come up with uh, your suggestions, any open house discussion you want to have, you want to have any questions right now, you have another, uh, you have a presentation, uh, you have a small, uh, another presentation uh, by Mr. Shurkirti uh, regarding IT based uh, uh, crime and there are four or five schemes on which he will be speaking. But I have said that you have no pressure on your people, faculty ho or child students so if you guys have any question uh, till now whatever i have spoken uh, you can just ask yes please uh, can you give him a mic please here here this this person is coming Any other questions? I'll take your question, but meanwhile, somebody else also has questions which they can also ask. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, sir. I actually had two questions. So, uh, my first question would be that are all of these problem statements like open for everyone, or are they like selected? Like only some of problem, the problem statements can be worked by some people. No, no. This is open for all. This is open for all. You can uh, you can choose any of these schemes. But like we would or uh, we would like to have some kind of a technical. Uh, aspect to that uh, because it's a technical institution that is why and you can choose you can also club two problem statements together also so like if for example you want to have app and tool designing plus you want to do something in women's security so you can combine the both, both the things together and do it so that kind of thing is also available but you have to come through your faculty that is very important we would like the faculty to be involved in uh, in finally assigning students to us we would expect uh, that the faculty would be doing a coordination role here and help us in selection process because we don't know your current uh, stream which you are taking but it is irrespective of the scheme you might be in scheme a but you like scheme b to work on that's fine but your faculty has to take out stand on that that's Yes. Any other question? Uh, yeah. Yes. So one more question: that uh, all of these problem statements are they uh, very like uh, predefined? Like we have a very defined uh, what we are getting and what we are expected to do, or are they more uh, innovation based? Like we can add more stuff into it if we feel like. 
Very good question. Uh, what's your good name? Uh, sir, Shitaj Singh. Shitaj. Shitaj. Shitaj, this is a very nice question you asked. And uh, thank you because I have I need to explain this thing. Uh, see, it's totally based on uh, innovation. We would like you to explore more. It is just a guiding principle, guiding uh, uh, statement. So you can uh, go much deeper into it. You can, it is flexible. You can, like for example, just say IT based crime and trend analysis. It's a very general statement. You can then go very specific on what you want to do or uh, machine learning and AI in, in the use of law enforcement. It's a very general statement. So you can go deeper into it, decide, discuss with your faculty, discuss with our officers, and then come up with some kind of a final statement. Once you decide a final statement, then you must not move. And once we, we uh, approve it, uh, there's a committee like Mr. Somanshi is there, I'm there, some other people are there. We'll finalize it that, yes, now you're working on this. So, but you can deliberate on it for another 15, 20 days. That's why first we will give you some input in law enforcement, some input in law, some input in different aspects of uh, 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 of policing uh, and uh, security management. So that you have a basic idea of this. And then technology, you know, your, uh, your faculties uh, know about it. So we'll be very, uh, very open to ideas. And we will be very flexible in accepting uh, this thing, uh, suggestions. But we want to develop some case studies out of this institution, so we are very ready for that also. But thank you, Shitesh. This I think answers your question. Yes. Thank you so much. Sir. Any other question, please? Yes. Can you pass on the inco mic, please, Madam? My name is Kauri and I am from the third year AML branch. So you are in it? Which batch? Uh, AML branch, sir. So my question is, will I be uh, able to like, gain a like, uh, full guidance from the teachers if I would like to participate in the scheme number nine, which says use of machine learning AI and law enforcement as the students are getting the same like guidance uh, who are willing to work into the IT and case analysis trends. Or because as you said, the uh, case studies is uh, lower as compared to the crime uh, in IT departments. So is there a good scope to work on that scheme or not? Or like I'll get the good guidance or not? Yeah, you'll definitely get uh, very good guidance. Our uh, entire cyber crime branch and the normal chief is working on that. Uh, so we sometimes cover some things very uh, discreetly, some things uh, we are not able to cover because of lack of time and because of lack of resources and other things. But as far as guidance is concerned, we we'll definitely give you full guidance. Secondly, it has to be need-based also. We'll have to choose, we'll have to prioritize. Suppose you have 10 things in your mind. So this is, there are officers, then you Faculty might say that, okay, there's four things which you should put up. And maybe our officers might deliberate on that and say, like, out of these two, only one you select. So it, there will be narrowing down of that. But you must come up with your uh, idea. And uh, we'll definitely guide you because we have officers there uh, who will be able to do it. But see, as AI and machine learning is a very, very new field. It is very experimental in its nature right now. It's very new to law enforcement in general. So everybody is learning. And we'll also learn through this process. But uh, we'll be open to ideas. And we, whatever guidance we can give, the best what we can give, we'll negotiate with your faculty and then decide. Uh, but we'll give it. Thank you, sir. Next. Yes, yes. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, my question was that uh, in scheme, third scheme, sir, uh, it included forensics. So uh, I was asking that, is there any department for 
forensic science, not the legal forensics. I want like uh, forensic See, science. there are two different things. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a department of forensic science which looks after forensics. But there is there like a dedicated depart dedicated department of digital forensics is not there right now. We have some small uh, enclaves or some small cells within our forensic uh, units which can look into digital forensics, but we lack expertise in a great manner in the sense that we can't run full-fledged digital forensic labs right now, though we want to, we intend to do that in the near future. But right now, and even at the national level, we have very few institutions which are devoted to digital forensics. But we have forensics department, there is a full-fledged forensic department, and which has a network of labs across the state, in Bhopal, we have two very good labs, state-of-art labs we have. Then there is a National Forensic Science University in uh, Ahmedabad, and which is working on digital forensics to a great extent. Our own cyber cell, uh, which Mr. Somanchi heads, has some uh, expertise and some software on digital forensics. Our state cyber cell has some uh, unit within its cyber uh, uh, investigation department on digital forensics. So yes, we have digital forensics, but it is not very, very well organized right now. It is at its growing up stage. But uh, as far as your internship is considered, uh, we have the expertise to guide you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Can, can you be a bit louder? Yeah, please. Good morning. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Tanil Pandilkar from Cyber Security. Okay. I would like to know that after we are selected for this internship program, like, uh, can we do research on the internal workings of uh, the architecture uh, various departments? Very good question, Tarun. I was Tanish. going to Tanish. Yeah. Tanish. Thank you so much for this question. Uh, actually, uh, one more uh, thing which I wanted to talk to your faculty today was this, that we want to work on the evolution of techni technological usage in law enforcement in India with a reference to, uh, uh, to uh, Madhya Pradesh. So we would like to, in fact, make a historical account of how we, have, we are shifting from manual work to technological uh, platforms and how we have evolved over time. This, if we can do, would be a great uh, help, not only uh, for us, but to understand the policy implication of it. And it will be very interesting for the students. For example, uh, 20 years back, there was no talk, no. 30 years back, there was no talk of having a digitized mechanism of crime reporting. 20 years back, there was a great talk of recording crime through digital mode, but no expertise. 10 years back, a lot of people were working uh, across government to create platforms for, for uh, uh, developing tools and techniques uh, for recording FIRs and crime on uh, uh, digitally, uh, computer based. And in 2014, the government of India launched the CCTNS architecture, which started recording the, uh, the crime through digital mode, not only crime, but all it was an office automation mechanism. And by 2016 and 17, most of the states migrated their work to from manual to digital uh, in terms of general police uh, work. Now, this is something which is uh, which is very, very uh, fascinating to study. Similarly, like uh, uh, CCTV surveillance. 
uh, I went to UK in 2005 and used to wonder that uh, how like the, the traffic uh, tickets come home uh, when you violate uh, 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 traffic rule. And now it is just day to day function with us. Nothing great about it because it happens so so smoothly uh, in our own cities. So the evolution of technology has taken place over time. Cyber crime started happening with the use of of uh, mobile and other uh, uh, digitized uh, instruments, but we didn't have any law. In 2000, this new law came, which is called IT Act. But and then till 2005, we did not have much expertise in investigating an IT-based crime. Between 2005 and 2010, we started developing some some know-how of investigating a cyber crime. But now we have very advanced technologies, mechanisms, SOPs of doing that. So you can do it, and we would like, we would request your faculty to devote some students who will understand the organizational development to digitization of uh, 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 crime and investigation and security management. So we do it. And we are very excited. And we'll take you as our one of the first students to do it. So thank you for that. Yeah. Any other question? So, okay, so now I will not take much time. Uh, we'll do the other questions again. I'll request uh, without any formalities to so much sir, because our Sarah formal session had been But I think uh, you gave it to okay, you had kept for him. Yes. So I request my friend uh, 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 Shruti Tisomanshi, uh, who is an IPS officer, uh, very young boy IPS officer, and who is very apt uh, in dealing with the crime branch of Bhopal Police Commissionary to come up and give his address. Thank you. कुछ साल पहले तक जब मैं कॉलेज में था तो ऐसे वहाँ पे सेमिनार्स भी होते रहते थे और हम लोग भी वहाँ से ऐसे ही बीच से उठके चले जाते थे तो आज मुझे रिलाइज हुआ कि कितना खराब लगता होगा स्टेज पर बैठने वाले को जब कोई बीच से उठके जाता है तो but nevertheless hopefully आप लोग जितने लोग बचे हैं वो भी नहीं जाएंगे और मैं आपका टाइम � my name is Shruti Yeti Somanshi, I am the IPS officer of the 2018 batch. I am DCP Crime and Cyber Crime. I am looking at the charge of the charge. There is also an additional charge for traffic. There are four schemes of cyber cell schemes in which we would like you to be involved and participate as much as you can. First of all, the first schemes of the cyber cell schemes are the first schemes of the cyber cell schemes. And first of all, the first schemes of the cyber cell schemes are the first schemes of the cyber cell schemes. That would be that Always give something new, innovative to your uh, whatever you do, or usme kuch hamesha naya sochiyega. Police se apna interaction shayad ye pehli baar hoga, to hopefully it will be uh, fruitful for both of us, and uh, it will come as a good learning to all of you. Or hopefully ye ek hamare liye bhi ek achha ek initiative hoga, jisko hum aage bhi yahan par continue karna chahenge. जो चार स्कीम्स मेरे पास हैं जो साइबर सेल की हैं वो आगे बढ़ाएंगे सुना नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पहली स्कीम जो है वो आईटी बेस्ड क्राइम ट्रेंड्स की है और उसकी एनालिसिस की है होपफुली आप लोगों में से किसी को अभी तक साइबर क्राइम या साइबर फ्रॉड का शिकार नहीं होना पड़ा होगा या आप लोगों में से कोई हुआ है क्या अभी तक किसी के साथ कोई फ्रॉड ऑनलाइन no problem, be frank, you can take your hands off. Okay, anyone can tell me how it was a fraud, what it was with you, how it was with you. Sure. Yeah, sure. 
Good afternoon, sir. So it happened with me recently uh, in the month of March, where I was like trying to renew uh, the food license of my father's, and I was like uh, trying to find the official website of the food renewal, uh, like FFC, uh, FSAI. And uh, basically, I like fortunately, like unfortunately, landed on a fake website, which is uh, almost like looking like a government uh, website. Like you can't even find a clue, like it is a uh, fake or not, because everything was like completely showing as official. And even uh, like reviewing it twice, she like get like uh, fulfill their amount, which is about five thousand for the five years. A renewal, and then I got to know that when I researched a lot because I didn't uh, get to hear from them uh, in a week, and then I researched it about it a lot. Then I got to know that it is a fake website. So yeah, it it has a recent scam that happened with me. Yeah, it's actually quite rampant every day. We see a plethora of cyber crimes every day, and the modus operandi is more or less same that they will create some website or create some portal which will be looking like a government website or an authentic bank website jahan par galat number diye honge ya fir koi aisa link diya hoga jahan sir aap unki website pe redirect honge aur fir wahan se wo aapko fraud karenge so every day we see these type of cases but ye jo trend hai this trend has been changing since past 4 to 5 years लगभग आज से पाँच छः साल पहले जो साइबर फ्रॉड्स थे वो बहुत ही प्रिमेटिव लेवल के होते थे सिंपल कि वो आपको फ़ोन करेंगे और आपसे ओ ले लेंगे और ओ से आपके बैंक अकाउंट्स की डिटेल और बाकी चीज़ें यूज़ करके वो आपको डूब करेंगे देन दे माइग्रेटेड टू समथिंग मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स दे विल सेंड यू यू लिंक और उसमें फिर आपसे वो ओ लेंगे या फिर कोई और किसी ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट का डीलर बन के या फिर उनका कोई एजेंट बन के कॉल करेगा और किस तरह से लोगों को फ्रॉड करना शुरू करते हैं रिसेंटली पिछले दो साल में जो ये साइबर क्राइम है दिस हैज गॉन मच मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स वेयर दे कॉल समवन दे विल टेल देम टू यू कैन हैव अ पार्ट टाइम जॉब यू कैन अर्न सम मनी वाइल यू आर वर्किंग योर आइडियल जॉब और समथिंग दिस हैव दिस स्टार्टेड इन द कोविड पीरियड जो फ्रॉडस्टर थे दे हैड अ वेरी गुड चांस टू डू पीपल हु आर एट होम जिनको ज़्यादा टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में नहीं पता है उन्होंने उनको ऐसे बुरे लोगों को फंसाना शुरू किया जिनको टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में थोड़ा सा भी आइडिया नहीं है बट दे यूज मोबाइल एंड ऑल दीज ऐप्स जो फाइनेंशियल बैंक के ऐप हैं यू पी आई ऐप हैं रिसेंटली बहुत सारे केसेस में भोपाल में भी ऐसे केसेज हुए हैं जो केसेस स्टार्ट टू फ्राइड साइबर फ्रॉड से हुए हैं बट दी एंड ऑफ बींग बॉडली ऑफेंस दे विल कॉल समवन कि हम इस कंपनी से बोल रहे हैं वी प्रोवाइड रॉ मटेरियल यू कैन कम डाउन एंड लुक कि हमारा मटेरियल कैसा है दे विल द पर्सन विल कम फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दे विल हाईजैक दम किडनेप दम एंड देन दे विल एक्सपेक्ट मनी एंड दिस मनी दिस मनी विल ट्रांसफर टू सम फोर्ड अकाउंट्स जिनके नाम पर अकाउंट है वो उन लोगों को पता ही नहीं है कि ये अकाउंट उनके नाम पर यूज़ हो रहा है और फिर वो पैसे कैश में निकल जाते हैं तो इस तरह के ट्रेंड्स जो हैं इनका पैटर्न पिछले चार पाँच साल में हम लोग देख रहे हैं जो लगातार चेंज हो रहा है और अब इट हैज़ गॉन टू एक्सपोनेंशियली इट हैज़ इंक्रीज पिछले चार पाँच सालों में और आज की डेट में भी रिसीव एट एवरी डे एट एटलीस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन कम्प्लेंट्स अबाउट साइबर क्राइम्स तो इस स्कीम में पहला जो वो होगा थ्रस्ट होगा वो ये होगा कि हम पिछले चार पाँच साल का जो हमारे पास डेटा है उसको हम एक पैटर्न के रूप में रिप्रजेंट करें और एक प्रिडिक्टिव पैटर्न क्रिएट करें कि आगे आने वाले टाइम में और हम किन चीज़ों पर ध्यान दें प्रिवेंटिवली ताकि ये फ्रॉड्स को रोक पाए जो इस स्कीम का आउटकम है दैट वुड क्रिएट सम सोल्यूशन फॉर अस एंड ऑल्सो इट विल क्रिएट सम प्रिवेंटिव एंड एडवाइजरी नेचर ऑफ सोल्यूशन जिसमें हम लोगों को सोशल मीडिया या फिर किसी और भी यूजर्स के माध्यम से उनको अवेयर कर पाएंगे कि साइबर फ्रॉड्स को हम कैसे रोक सकते हैं और कैसे उनको उसके लिए प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट स्कीम सेकंड स्कीम इज नेक्स्ट सेकंड स्कीम इज अबाउट द साइबर सिक्योरिटी वी प्रोवाइड अभी हमारे पास क्या आर्किटेक्चर है जो हमारी साइबर सेल की टीम है जो हमारी टेक्निकल टीम है हाउ दे वर्क उनका काम करने का क्या तरीका है 
अगर कोई एक साइबर क्राइम रिपोर्ट होता है तो फिर तो उस पर किस प्रोसेस से काम किया जाता है और वी वुड लाइक यू गाइज टू हैव सम इनसाइट कि ये पूरी प्रोसेस कैसे फॉलो की जाती है और बेहतर होगा कि अगर आप लोग साथ में मिलकर हम लोग के लिए कोई एस ओ पी क्रिएट करें कोई एक टाइम बाउंड मैनर में कि इन चीज़ों को कैसे फॉलो करना है और एक ऑटोमेटिक सिस्टम क्रिएट करें जिसपे जो एप्लीकेंट है उसको भी उसकी इंफॉर्मेशन मिलती रहे कि उसकी कंप्लेट पर कितना काम हुआ है इसके बाद जो साइबर uh, सेल में हमारी टीम है उसका क्या नो हाउ है उससे आप और क्या सीख सकते हैं उस पर भी uh, इस स्कीम में काम किया जाएगा और आने वाले साल में जो टाइम में हम लोग और कैसे इनको इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं कैसे इनको इनकी इनका वैल्यू एडिशन कर सकते हैं उस पर काम करेंगे लास्टली इस स्कीम में वी विल इन्वॉल्व यू गाइज इन सम sort of investigation we will not reveal the credentials of the person who has informed about the cyber crime but we will give you some insight and we would like you to work on that chahe to wo digital forensic ho ya fir koi fraud ka case ho and how it works we will give you the hands on and all the information available to us this is the second scheme the third scheme is uh, use of machine learning and artificial intelligence even uh, we don't know how much machine learning or uh, in, uh, artificial intelligence is going to create a mess or whatever it is going to do with the law enforcement recently we have uh, received some requests from different uh, uh, portals where a college professor requested me to file a case against a student who used chat gpt for his assignments so matlab i i was not sure what to do about it but i requested him to issue a advisory or i don't know how they are going to track it ki wo plagiarism ko kaise detect karenge but it is going to be a problem for professors also so this can go in very uh, wrong direction and this can go in uh, in sector frauds also uh machine learning can be very useful if it is done right uh, recently one of my colleague created a uh, chat gpt module to detect uh, data pattern the crime but it was not in done in that uh, sophisticated way but we are working on it ki how we can prevent what sort of crime what sort of regional crime can happen if we give some data to the artificial intelligence model hopefully you guys can help us in creating some uh, model in that where we can give you some data and then you can predict something about the crime which is going to happen in some sort of way hopefully this will work also machine learning can also be used in uh, facial recognition and all these types of uh, tools i don't know uh, बाकी सर बताएंगे कि अभी आप लोग के यहाँ कितना इस पर एडवांसमेंट हुआ है देन वी कैन यूज दैट नॉलेज एंड क्रिएट समथिंग फॉर आर सेल्स एंड आल्सो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स इसके अलावा जो सेफ गार्ड्स की जरूरत है हमारा जो जो चौथी स्कीम है दैट इज अबाउट अवेयरनेस जनरेशन उसमें वी वुड लाइक टू हैव ऑल द थ्री स्कीम्स कम्बाइंड एंड आपके जो एक्सपीरियंसेज हैं वॉट वी कैन यूज इन दैट कि जो एप्लीकेंट है या कोई इसके साथ फ्रॉड हो रहा है हम उसके साथ और क्या एडवाइजरी उसको दे सकते हैं हमारे अपने कुछ सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स हैं या हमारी जो यूजुअली रेगुलर गाइडलाइंस इशू होती हैं उसमें हम और क्या चीज़ें ऐड कर सकते हैं कि ये साइबर क्राइम्स कम हों मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस में जहाँ पर क्राइम होता है वहाँ पर इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिटेक्ट द पर्सन हु इज बिहाइंड दिस बिकॉज इट टेक्स टाइम एंड इन दैट टाइम दैट पर्सन डिसअपियर्स so the first thing which is there to prevent is to let the people know that they have to be aware of it they should be very careful while using apps or whatever financial uh, transactions they do so that would be very very helpful for us if you can give us some insight into it in your experience jab aap yahan par kaam karenge aur hum se share karenge next back फोर्थ स्कीम इज पब्लिक सेफ्टी अवेयरनेस जनरेशन ऐप है 
इसमें वी वुड हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनरोलमेंट फर्स्ट वुड बी क्रिएटिंग एन ऐप और अ पोर्टल वेयर वी कैन रोल आउट सजेशंस एंड गाइडलाइंस एंड और ऑल सोर्ट्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेज टू द जनरल पब्लिक secondly we can create a tool for our in house sahulyat ke liye jisme hum log chahenge ki aap hamare liye kuch agar kar paye to hamara jo digital data hai which is around 5 years of uh, cyber fraud ka jo data hai ya baaki crime ka data hai usko humne digitize karna shuru kar diya hai pichle kuch time mein to usse agar if we can create some tool or app or predictive generation of the map so that would be very helpful or uh, then we can work on it i would uh, urge you guys ki this would be the thing which which is very important for us and my is to personally uh, i would take interest or main chahunga ki isme se aap logo mein se kuch hamari madad kare aur is tarah ke app generation mein hamari help ho to ye char schemes uh, cyber cell ki taraf se available hain aap sabhi hopefully isme se kuch log join karenge and then we will work together thank you Thank you, sir. Now, I request Ravi Singh sir to kindly give a bouquet to Mr. Singh. Thank you, sir. Now I would request Akshay Tower to please share his personal experience. Okay, so a very good afternoon to one and all present here. My name is Akshat Rawat. I belong to the BTEC batch of 2020CY, and I recently completed my student internship from Bhopal Police, uh, Bhopal Police Commissionerate. So my project was all about understanding and utilizing the power of OSINT, which is open source intelligence. I believe OSINT is a powerful yet an underrated technology so open source intelligence as the name suggests is all about gathering data from publicly available sources to generate uh, valuable inputs especially in our case to crack down uh, cyber um, cyber crime uh, cases so in our day to day life while we browse internet while we browse social media we are doing nothing else but engaging in uh, ocean so i have a very small task for everyone present here after the event is over i want every one of you to gather as much information about me as you all can ab aap dekh rahe hain maine idhar apni koi personal information nahi di hai na maine apna koi phone number diya hai so ab ye aap logo ke upar hai ki aap log mujhe kaise track karte hain kaise meri information mujh tak pahunchate hain so this task is all about open source intelligence and your task is to approach me online and show sure, the winner shall receive a large gold copy from my side in the underwear so that is all from my side i am uh, you, you all are free to inquire about anything regarding this uh, internship program you all can reach out to me on my uh, linkedin handle thank you so much <laughs> Thank you, Akshar. ODs will be provided from slots 10 to 250. Uh, now we commemorate the event. All may leave. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you all very soon. Thank you, everyone.
नादिल लोग नहीं जा रहे उधर कुलदीप काम कर उसको उधर रहने दो युवराज का पढ़ने बोलो डिजिटाइज करना है ओडी को आज छह बजे तक अग्नि अग्नि Nothing is the work. We'll do it.
ठीक है कर दिया हाँ सर ये लैपटॉप लेके आ जाओ हाँ सर 